Welcome to Dark Celtic <laughs> History. <laughs> The Ghost of Robert de Montrose. Few places in the world can claim to have as many restless spirits as haunted St. Andrew's Cathedral. From medieval times, Scotland has celebrated the feast day of its patron Saint St. Andrew on the 30th of November. According to legends, some of St. Andrew's bones were carried across the ocean by a Greek monk named Regulus. The little chapel built upon the cliff tops of Fife to house the saint's relics was later replaced by a grand cathedral. Now until the Reformation, St. Andrew's Cathedral was the ecclesiastical capital of Scotland. St. Andrew's became home to Scotland's oldest university and home of golf. And what of this cathedral? Well, in 1559 a mob led by John Knox ransacked and destroyed the interior of the building. In the years that followed, the building rapidly fell into decline. After the living vacated the premises, it seems that Scotland's former spiritual capital became a gathering place for restless spirits. At haunted St. Andrew's Cathedral, you can meet all kinds of spirits, from friendly fires to apparitions with attitude. Now adjacent to St. Andrew's Cathedral lies the remains of St. Andrew's Priory. In 1393, the Priory was a kindly man named Robert de Montrose. Although he had a reputation of being a fair and responsible man with a generous heart, there were times he needed to discipline some of the monks under his care. One of these was a certain Thomas Platter. Now he resented being reprimanded and began to plot his revenge. So it was that late one night he crept up upon Robert de Montrose as he trudged up the stairs after a hard day's work to his bedroom to retire to his bed for the evening. Suddenly, Platter lunged from the darkness and stabbed him. Shock enveloped him. Then as Montrose lie dying, gasping for his last breath, he knew he needed to ensure Montrose was dead. So to ensure the murder, he threw him over the railing to his doom. His ghostly presence stayed relatively quiet until a few hundred years later during the 1940s and 50s. A visitor to Rule's Tower stumbled in the semi-darkness of the poorly lit narrow stairway. A man wearing a cassock came to his aid, offering his arm. The man promptly but politely declined the offer from the kindly monk afterwards. The cleric brushed past him in the narrow confines of the uh, spiral staircase. Imagine the man's horror when he couldn't feel anything as the helpful monk squeezed past him, or that there were no monks present that day. Hmm. Since then, there have been many sightings of Montrose falling over the railing of the stairs. He has even been seen falling from the cathedral's tower. The ghost of Robert de Montrose is not the only ghost, though, to walk the ruins of haunted St. Andrew's Cathedral, for there were sightings of ghosts from the other world when he was there when he was alive. He had written in some of his writings that some of the spirits there were not so benevolent. 